I have a lot of information to share with you. Hi, I'm Marie from Time Lapse Cameras. You have the new Afitas Time Lapse camera in your hand, and I'm here to coach you through the Wi Fi connection and first time lapse deployment using your mobile iOS device. Let's get started. On my iOS device, the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the App Store. Search for Aphidus. Aphidus has a number of developed applications. You will find the time-lapse Aphidus. Go ahead and download it. Press the power button at the top of the camera and you're going to hear a long beep. With the camera on, you will establish the Wi-Fi connection. Go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, se select the camera, enter the password 8765432 select join. Now select back over to the Aphidus app. Select camera. And at this time, the first notice, oh, look at that. The first notice will be time lapse would like to access your photos. You must select OK. Otherwise, the camera will not fully connect with your mobile device. Select OK. Okay, this is good. The first two icons at the top of the right hand screen are your battery indicator and your card status. 16 gigabyte card with full, fresh new batteries. Excellent. Select the settings flyout menu. Select settings. And for right now, the first one I first feature I want to point out is your wide angle. Currently, the wide angle is on, meaning that it is uh, very bowed in my view preview. Flip back and you can see it's pretty bowed. So this is completely a matter of preference. You can turn that off. Just flip back to the main screen and it will update and you can see it will flatten out just a little bit. Go back to settings. For your first test recording, you're not going to change any one of these other features, any one of these other menu screens. Select custom chain time, scroll to seven o'clock in the morning. Sixteen, uh, 1600 military time is about four o'clock in the afternoon. And we're going to turn Sunday and Saturday off. By turning them off, the days will become gray. Select set and you will see a check mark and you will hear a beep confirming from the camera. Again, we don't change any of these other settings because there's no need to at this time. For my interval, uh, I'm fine with doing a five second interval or 10 or three, whatever you like because we're just going to get you started. Let's go with five. Take a look at the information screen. Here is where you can confirm all of your settings. The camera number that you are working on, the SD card capacity, what is used out of the total available, and that the po power status is actually coming from the battery, the scheduled time that it's set to record, it's recording every day from uh, Monday through Friday. The frames per second is at 30 interval. I've set to five and all the rest of these quality, scene, resolution, aspect ratio, white balance, contrast, sharpness, saturation, and HDR are all set to the sets that, uh, settings that we prefer at time lapse cameras. For this first recording, you can keep the focal point as it is. I would like to highlight, however, right now it's at the widest point for its zoom. By scrolling in and zooming in, the camera will adjust. And here is where you need to wait for the camera to come, adjust to its focus and adjust to the focal point.
So by zooming in and like I'm doing, I'm turning the camera into macro mode. Like if I wanted to film and record hummingbirds at my hummingbird feeder. At this time, select, after zooming in, select auto, uh, select auto focus and the camera will adjust. Here is where I say pinch zoom. Pinch the preview screen to see that it's at the focus clarity that you like. By selecting plus or minus, you can further fine tune it to lock it in. Be patient in this process. There. Zoom in, get your nose in there. That's what we call as pixel peeking. Okay. I'm fine with that. I have a checklist when I start my recordings. I always take screenshots at every stage, uh, step of the stage. So for example, if I was starting a recording and I'm on site, I would personally take a screenshot of my information screen. Screenshot taken. At this point, I would also take a screenshot of my first screen showing my view from the camera. Excellent. Then I would also take a snapshot using the camera button in the lower right hand corner. This allows you to realign the camera if in the event you have to reposition it on your job site or throughout your project. Here's where you can double check your focus. Skip out of the uh, Fit is app because that snapshot just recorded to your iPhone. Rotate your screen and zoom in. And that is how you can check to make sure that that camera is in focus with exactly the plane that you wanna see. Target back to the app. For this test recording, hit the record camera button at the bottom and confirm that you will hit the calendar schedule record button icon. You will be met with another confirmation screen. Start with record mode where it gives you all your settings again. This is where I take yet another screenshot. Then you select, you select OK. You will hear a double beep from the camera and you will see the final confirmation screen. Select OK. Now what happens is the camera is recording. The app Wi-Fi completely shuts down and you will not be able to connect to your camera until you stop the recording at the camera holding the power button for a long beep. It's bats and stats. God, I love that term. Okay, you've powered up your camera because you're done with your test, re test recording. Now you need to check your bats and stats. Reconnect your camera with Wi-Fi to your mobile device. Select that camera, wait for that check mark to pop up, switch over to your Fitness app, and that's how you can get deeper into the bats and stats. We always re recommend starting every single project with a fresh new set of batteries, Energizer Max Maxes, or Energizer Lithiums only in the winter time. For every new project, start with a brand new fresh, or start with a fresh card. Uh, let's see what else is there. Oh, remember to take your screenshots along the way. The information, bu information screen, take the screenshot uh, using the snapshot mode because that helps you realign your camera in the event it gets bumped shifted or you have to do a battery change in your project. We have a lot of information at afitiscam.com on the user guide page or on the learning page. And we plan on having a lot more articles and blog posts landing at timelapsecameras.com. That's a lot of information for right now. Resource this video, double check everything as you go. That's all for now. See ya.